welcome to the channel in this video we are going to make a bouncy afro beat chords are the foundation of every song and in this video we are going through a systematic process of making chord from its basic form and adding little levels of complexity to it to make it more impressive so let's dive right into it all right to begin with i have my bpm set to 100 starting off with the piano v and preset selected is american home clean Let's make some chords. If you are not familiar with your skills, hit the drop down menu, views, scale highlighting. We'll be working in the C sharp natural minor key. Select the five, six, seven notes of the scale. Turn them into chords. Double the bass note to make it a lot more fuller. From the G sharp minor to the A major. The chord transitions well, but we can make it a bit more interesting by creating a suspended chord to act as a passing chord to the B major. Now we have a consistent B note to marry the progression together. Let's make these two chords both seven chords. Invert the B to make the chord open, you know, defining the emotions of the progression. A note is common between the A sus 2 and B major 7. Let's move them close to each other. Duplicate it to create a 4 bar loop. Changing the bass notes at the close of the third and fourth bar to give it a different texture or feel. Let's add some filling melody. Hit Alt plus R to randomize the velocity, Alt plus S to strum it, and lastly, Alt plus X to scale the notes down. Let's layer the chord with a pad from Analog Lab 5. Select all this, Ctrl C to copy, and then Ctrl V to paste. Next up, we have a counter melody using the Just Clean preset from Purity. Let's make this simple pattern. Mess around with the velocity to give it some dynamics. A bell from Omnisphere to act as a texture to carry the melody. A vocal sample from Arcade. Did the tweet inside of Arcade with the tools provided. Originally, it sounds like this. Mess around with the faders to make it a unique sound. Make sure the sample is locked to the key of your song. A guitar one shot and an ascent key to complement each other. Adding another melody will later add a lot of reverb or space to it to make it more ambient. A bass to fill the low frequencies. It basically follows the root note of the chord with some groove to give it some form of movement. To the drums, a rim shot that fills the second and fourth beat. Hi hat. A simple kick pattern. A to it bass. For the envelope setting, turn down all the parameters except for the hold. Bring it all the way up. This sustain the note as long as you hold it. To dive more into how to shape your sound, you need to understand the basis of sound design, like the ADSL. Make sure your 808 is in key. Edit in Edison. The little flag icon detect pitch region. You can see it is tuned to C. Now we can pitch it one semitone up to be in the key of our song. Adding more pecs to fill up the drums. Lastly, the conga. First, let's select all the melody. Select an empty mixer track. Channel routing. Root selected channel starting from this track. I would like to select all the melody and bass it to one track. We name it as Melody Bass. Repeat same process with the drum as well. This is how muddy the melody sounds like. 
Now let's go through the melodies one by one and make it sit perfectly well in the context of the mix. I'll insert RC20 on the piano to give it a vintage vibe. Noise off, little wobble, air pressure distortion. And then a little bit of reverb. And cut a bit of the low and high frequencies. For the pad, EQ to cut the low end. Tack it right beneath the piano. With this counter melody, I want to make it a bit fuller in the mix. I'll do the Waves Doubler too, to have a different octave of the same melody played together. A quick A and B reference without the plugin, with the plugin, add some reverb and then stereo image to make it a bit more wider. Turn down the fader. For the bells, we have fruit de lettre to make it fill empty space in the melody. Followed by a reverb. Now to the vocal sample, EQ to cut both the high and low frequencies to make space for the artist or lead vocal. Lot of reverb to make it ambient. For the bass, we have our bass, and preset selected is the big button. Now with the leveling of the bass, I like it to be below the kick drum. I also like my kick knock to go above the 6 dB mark, to give it enough headroom for additional sounds. Then tuck the bass right beneath the kick. Now from here, I just listen to the drums and make some few tricks and adjust some faders. Pan some of the percussion if it is required. Now let's put some reverb on the drums. First sidechain the drum bass to an empty track, insert the reverb. Insert the fruity send on the drum bass. Send the drum feed to the reverb. Because we are using the reverb as a send effect, turn the dry knob to zero, wet all the way up to 100. We will insert EQ before the reverb and cut all the low frequencies. Now the reverb only affects the mid high frequencies. From here, I think I would like to saturate the drums a little bit and compress it. On the master bass, I have a fruity soft clipper to keep the picks in check. And also 9 maximizer with the classic master preset. And this is what everything sounds like. 